Hey friends, welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. Today's video, I have a plan with me in my Erin Condren uh, daily petite planner here. It's what I use for like everyday planning. Um, I have some stickers that I think I may want to plan with. So if you guys want to check out this plan with me, then keep on watching. Welcome back. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional here on my YouTube channel. And I'm just really passionate about planning and sometimes I can go a little crazy with it. <laughs> just more so with decorating and using all the stickers. Um, so that's something you're interested in, then I hope that you will consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. That way you are aware when I upload a new video. Um, so today, again, I am planning in my Erin Condren uh, daily folio system, and I'm still loving it, even though um, if you guys are familiar or aware that Erin uh, Condren is launching their um, 2022 to 2023 um, EC Life Planners, um, but they also have like a ring system and a binder system. But that is going to launch the 25th um, for EC Insiders, which just means that you guys get first look and um, at all the releases and things like that. It's absolutely free. You just sign up and create an account. And, but a bonus is, is that if you've never shopped there, you get $10 off your first order. Those links will be in the description box. It's always there for you guys if you want to check it out. Um, it does help me as a EC uh, affiliate. It helps me um, receive more products. That way I can review them for you and Condra to know that I am here for you, reviewing things for you and helping you choose a planner that you love to help you throughout your um, day. So I hope that you guys will consider using my link. But anywho, yeah, I'm excited about that. I There are a couple things that I'm looking forward to and I'm gonna be making a list soon. So again, it is launching the 25th for EC Insiders and then to the general public on um, the following day, so the 26th. So with that said, um, you can catch some footage from the in-store in Irvine, California. Um, I was able to attend that. So I have like a small live. I was just trying to take it all in, meeting new people, giving people their time to um, look at the products. But there are so many reviews out there that um, a lot of the squad had gotten some things and reviewed them. So you guys can check out on YouTube. You can check it out on Instagram. You kind of just want to use the hashtag or just look for Erin Condren um, launch 2022 to 2023. But yeah, so I will kind of keep you guys posted on what I am getting, but I know for sure there is a beautiful color blends <laughs> agenda. I just, it's super pretty, but I am interested in the compact vertical and then like a daily, like an hourly daily type of thing in an A5 because I'm really enjoying the A5. Enough chit chat. <laughs> So I have some stickers here that um, I'm kind of in the mood for. Um, I'm still going off some springy vibes, but I thought I would just change it up and use these Sweet Kawaii Design sticker pack from Michaels. Um, and I have two stickers here. One is more of like a market theme, um, like a food market theme. And the other one is definitely more spring and colorful. I just thought maybe I would use these because I do like pull stickers that I want to use. You know, I go through my stash and kind of pull them quarterly or when I'm in the mood just to refresh it. And then I, you know, rotate through all my stickers. Um, and then I also have this Erin Condren. Um, it's kind of like a back to school sticker book. I really don't know the name of this sticker book. So let me pull out my petite planner. I typically pull it out when I'm planning. And we are planning for Wednesday and Thursday. I'm just gonna set this aside because some I have this full of stickers too and sometimes I like to pull stickers from there as well. First couple things that I like to track is weather and then healthy, healthy habits, excuse me, at the bottom here. Cover up this monthly um, at a glance here. I typically, you know, don't need that. So I just cover that up and use that for healthy habits and then I split up here with the blocks. You get three sections and I kind of just split those up to what I need um, that day. 
So let's go ahead and get started. I do have also washi to the side of me. Um, last week, I did a cute Disney theme. Um, I live here in Southern California, so I just thought I would use my Happy Planner Disney stickers. I did use some washi from Live Love Posh, if you guys are familiar with her. I have reviewed some of her sticker books, but she also, she also carries washi. And so I have the rainbow set and then the black and white essential set. And these are um, 5 mm. So together, um, I used two, two washies. So together it's like 10. So it's like the perfect size to cover up these blocks. And I kind of just went with colors that went with the stickers, the Disney stickers. So I thought that was kind of cool. So something new I've been doing to my petite planner. As I've been planning, I add sticky notes to sections that my days is not as busy. I mean, here you can see that I'm using a lot more boxes, so it doesn't give me a lot of space to write in the plans. Um, so I had like small to-do list on these days because um, these two days were just really busy. I was at Disney uh, majority of my day. I wanted to put a photo here. So that's, that's the part where I'm getting to is that that's the new thing that I'm, as I'm planning and if my day is a day where it's like a special event or something, um, I will put a sticky note because I want to put a photo there. And I used to do that a lot, uh, mainly in my happy planners before I switched over to using Erin Condren. But I think I talked about this, um, or unless I shared this on my, um, Instagram in my stories, but I did save it. I think I saved it under EC or something, but I went to Texas for spring break and I decided to add these two by three photos. And then I was sharing on um, tips on what to put here. Um, this is a little pocket. I'm sure you could craft a little pocket, maybe like a little, a coin bag or something like a craft bag that could possibly fit here. Or you could just craft a little pocket and put here. Um, but I had these little side corner pockets from Daiso. Um, and I thought this would be cute just to put more than one photo in here from my trip. So it was my spring break trip. And I just, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start just putting a sticky note in a section so I know to place a photo there later. So I'm gonna put a photo of me and my husband. We had like a day date at the Food and Wine Festival here in California. That was so fun. So we were just able to try all the things. Uh, we didn't. We rode one ride <laughs> because it got a little hot. It it always gets a little bit hotter in Anaheim, um, and we rode the Little Mermaid because it was in that. It was in uh, California Adventure Park, so it was like right next to that. So we would go there to get an AC break. <laughs> but anywho, it was super fun. But that's a new thing that I've been doing in the petite planner. If it's something you want to highlight for the day and you don't do a lot of memory keeping, I want to do a lot of memory keeping. I just need to adjust my schedule and figure that out um, when it comes to planning. So like here soon the kids will be getting out of school and maybe I'll have more time to catch up and like have a full day of just catching up on bag planning because I do have a planner in mind to do that and I really, really wanna start memory keeping. But this is an easy shortcut for you to put in a photo if you have um, a printable at home. I have the the Canon Ivy. It's okay. Um, I guess because I can't really say if I love it because I don't, this is my first one having one and usually I just print mine um, off at Walgreens and I just use a grid app to cut my photos down and get multiple prints. So that's how I used to do it before I got a portable printer. Anyhow, I'm doing a lot of talking. So yeah, I'm gonna put the weather down and um, then I'm gonna add the washi. I was thinking I would do the same thing. So I'm gonna decide whether I want to use the color or the black and white with these stickers just to see what will go better. I kinda wanna use black and white like this grid one. I could just double up instead of using another one. So we'll see, maybe I'll just go with black and white this time. 
Again, if you guys are um, interested in shopping at Live Love Posh, there'll be a link down below and you can use Sarah 10 for 10% off your order. So yeah, it only covers half of it. This washi reminds me of a cow print. Oh, wonder if I should use a solid color actually. A yellow, a pink, and the orange. I know this may be really different, <laughs> but that's what I do sometimes. Um, again, planning is, again, it's in the name. It's very functional for me. Of course, you know, I use it functionally. But it's also a time where I can just um, be crafty or be creative and just have fun with some of the my planner things. So I know this may not be for everyone, but it's an idea in case you're interested on how to cover these up because sometimes this is a pain, <laughs> especially if you're deciding to stick for the stick to this as your catch-all for. A year that's what my goal is <laughs> yeah that's a little out there but you just try it Maybe I need one more I want to just mix it up here and I pulled another black and white one so that way it's kind of different And I kind of just cover it up. I don't make it perfect with the washi. There's just no way I would do that. This one's kind of crooked. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is lay the washi down and I'm gonna go ahead off camera and um, put in my weather and then we'll get back to finishing out the layout. Okay, I've added the washi and my weather. So I decided to use the Woven Wonder by Erin Condren washi here up at the top because I think it just brings out more of the colors that I'm going to use from the stickers. And yeah, and so I have all my washi down. And now we just need to get some boxes to cover here for healthy habits. So I'm just going to go through this here and also I need to find headers to go over the washi and I probably will just write it in. Normally I try to find stickers that kind of represent that day or that block um, or I use my Happy Planner sticker, Handwritten Plans, um, but a lot of the ones that I use I'm kind of running low on. So this one has a lot of cute icon stickers. I've done a review or flip through of this sticker book and they still have this one in store. If you guys are interested, if this is stickers that interest you, if you like kawaii stickers, I definitely have a love for kawaii, fun, cute stickers. Okay, so I have these here I think would be really cute. They're like little rainbows. I'm hoping this will work. I can use and I'm trying to figure out where I want it. If I put the sticker in the middle, it kind of like hides the whole washi, but if I put it at the very top, I lose a couple of lines. So I'm trying to figure out where I want it. I mean, underneath is fine because I still have like a good chunk to write here. So maybe I'll do that. I know that kind of helps. That way you can still have that space to write if you're someone who likes to write on the lines or you kind of just use boxes to write in your plans. I think that's why I like the daily planner as well because it has lines. I'm someone who does prefer lines in a planner or on the pages itself. I know a lot of vertical boxes don't and it just kind of messes with my head. <laughs> I'm like, where am I going to write my plans? I guess because I tend to write really big, to be honest. I write big and I write spacious. My 
lettering space is very sp spacious. <laughs> Not so tight, close together. Maybe they should like staggered. I just really wanted to adjust that. Okay, so let's move on to the next side. I think these will work fine. So I'm gonna put this blue one here. Put this yellow one there. Wait, I should change that because that's pink. Okay, so now I have my cute little headers and I'll write those in and then we're at the bottom, I need a box. Oh, this one's cute. This will be perfect for my verse of the day, which is part of one of my healthy habits. And then working out. Actually, today officially is my 21 day of healthy habits. It is my last day to get in a great workout and I'm super excited. If you guys have been following me, you know that I'm a big um, advocate for wellness and just planning in general. That's my favorite, my top favorite to plan for. And I'm doing like a spring challenge. It was just to get, you know, out of that winter blues, stepping into spring, getting your body movement. And um, today is officially my 21 day. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna continue this because I've hit some goals that I'm really excited about. It just gives me more motivation to keep going. And so I'm hoping at the end of the year, I will be at, a, you know, checking off a lot of my wellness goals. But yeah, um, so we have people that are participating in the planner community have until up until, up until the end of April. Um, but I hope that you, if you are, you know, watching this and you've been a part of it that you will continue, you know, growing in that area. So that's a cute sticker for that. Um, and then I just need another sticker for my workout, which I kind of want it to be a little bit larger. So maybe this purple one will give me some space here. And I can just add something in this area. Okay, so then maybe I'll use this circle sticker for verse of the day. And I'll use this orange one for working out. Because actually this week, um, last week I was so close of hitting um, my goals on my watch for seven days straight. I just, I needed, I'm still in, in that, um, stage where I need a day of recovery or rest. But you know, you're, if you have an Apple watch, it like tells you you're so close. It just has all these reminders and notifications. And I was like, maybe this week, maybe this week I can do seven, um, full days of my exercise goals, which is 45 minutes. So then I think maybe I can use these smaller boxes for splitting up this um, for like errands or to buy. So maybe we'll just do that. I'm gonna put this one over here. I'm actually just gonna have fun with using this as a divider sticker, um, as like a, a divider for this section. I think that's kind of fun. And then this sticker book actually has like these long sidebar stickers um, that I could use. Cute. This one has dotted lines. I wanna see, I'm just gonna see if this works as a checklist here. If I want to, no, I don't think I'm gonna use that because it just looks, it just stacks up to it's too crowded is what I'm trying to say with the stickers. Just put this header up there. Yeah, I'll go ahead and add this one. I'm gonna do that. I don't have too, too much going on today. Um, I have just some chore things to do around the house. It's kind of like my, supposed to be my calm day, <laughs> but I do have like a parent conference meeting. Um, my child gets out early today. It is a half day. 
but today is Wednesday and we are big Marvel fans so I'm using this box in particular for us to catch up on our show. So we watch Moon Knight. It comes out every Wednesday on Disney Plus. So this is kind of like our day together, or especially the three of us, my two girls, because my oldest, she, her schedule is always busy, but this is a time that we make for each other to watch that show together because we just love Marvel. So that'll be a cute sticker to put there. And so yeah, I only have to do, I think, a small errand, um, stuff around the house. This is for my kids. This is for me for work. And this is healthy habits. Oh, I do have a game on this day, actually. So let me find a box for that. Practice. This little, it's a little sneaker shoe. Oh, also I've been tracking. I totally forgot. Um, which is cool because I just saw these. So these little icons, they're like a bunch of daily icons. Um, I was using these stickers. It will just depends. I want to take up most space. This, These are really tiny. These are like little vitamins. And I've been using those to, for my daughter to track her medicine. Um, she's taking it twice a day. And I just need to remind her because she's so forgetful. And plus this is a new habit for her, taking this twice a day. So I put two here, so that way I just check them to make sure she's taking them. And so I'll just do that and then put the appointment for up here. I think I did see an appointment sticker, but it may be too big. There are these small half boxes, and they actually say appointments. And you can put the time and where, so maybe we'll just do that. So if I did move these headers though, I would have more space to write. This is what I was saying earlier, but it kind of just, I feel like it just covers up the washi. Okay, maybe I will move this back and not worry about that. That way I can have more space to write. Cause what I don't like to, I don't like getting in the habit of doing this, what I did here last week. I put this big sticker here and it only gave me this, only because I tend to write really big. And so writing small like this all the time kind of bugs me. I don't know. <laughs> but I just don't want to make a habit of doing that. But I, you know, it was just a small little list of things that I wanted to get done when I knew that I had a busy day. I still wanted to at least get some stuff out of the way, you know what I mean? So let me fix that. Okay, so I've added in some plans and wrote in my headers. And then I also took these smaller stickers that you guys have seen me use from Nicole's shop. They're just mini cute little stickers. So I added a little car for errands, a little grocery cart for to buy. Um, I have a half day scripty sticker. So I added a box and put half day, you know, as a reminder. I do wish one, I do wish I had one that said game or practice. I need to check to see if she has those. Um, cause those are like most used for me. No school, half day, payday, um, get it done habits, which I haven't really used though. Um, don't forget. And then today and the rest are like weather stickers and just like daily icons. So I didn't write verse of the day here or gym cause I'm not really sure if I want to get outside this day or go to the gym, I know because I know tonight I'm going to the gym. Um, so I'm pretty much set. I think now I can just go through and fill in some of the white space if I'd like to. Uh, I'm going to add some of these cute icons for the gym. So I'm going to put a little heart here and a little weight here. One of these fit the little decorative flags you can put here. Does that fit? I have to move this down some. That's cute. 
cute. Okay, here's a page where it has a bunch of deco stickers so I can see what can I fit here. I can go there. Put up there at the top. I'm gonna put this little quote that says thankful and grateful. I have seized the day. Put it on that side. Okay, let me see what else is in here. And then this front page has a lot of smaller deco stickers as well. This other one will be on the other side because I think it's so cute. Pretty much have everything laid out for me. Um, it's like my foundation page to uh, write in the plans. I may add some cleaning icons in here because I did see that in the sticker book. But I'm going to move this. I had this little clock here for the schedule. Or for the appointment it's just it's kind of bugging me i'm gonna put this back i hope you enjoyed this plan with me and i hope to see you in my next video um again i use the sweet kawaii stickers from um michael's i got some live love posh washi they fit perfectly on that those blocks and then up at the top i was able to use the erin condren washi i just picked that up in the warehouse sale but um, thank you so much for taking the time of your day to watch this plan with me, and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye.